Hi, my name is Laksh Bell and today I want to talk to you about consistency and the power of compounding. Now, I often talk about these subjects, but today I want to talk to you about how to use the power of these subjects and the mental uh, power of visualization to use your willpower and not do the things that you shouldn't be doing and to do the things that you should be doing. In other words, to have a guiding principle to guide you towards the correct sort of action that builds on itself and compounds over the years to get you the kind of lifestyle that you want while avoiding what you shouldn't be doing. So here's how it works. Let's say you want to have a piece of candy, okay? Look at a piece of candy and you feel like having it. You're hungry, maybe you're craving sugars. You've got that desire, that itch to have a piece of candy. Now, ask yourself, What's going to happen if I have this piece of candy today? Probably not much. I mean, it's not going to kill you, right? It's not going to damage your teeth entirely. Not in one day, it won't. But here's what you should be asking yourself. What happens if I continue to eat this candy every single day for the rest of the year and for the rest of my life or the rest of this decade? And that's when things start getting interesting. What happens if I have this can of soda let's say, for instance, for every single day, one can of soda for the next 10 years. What's going to happen to your health then? What's going to happen to your teeth and your bones then? And suddenly, the scariness of the prospect of becoming that giant doofus that you didn't want to become supplies a pretty compelling reason to not have that piece of candy or that can of soda. So ask yourself what would happen if you did Whatever it is that you're contemplating doing for 100 days or 365 days or a thousand days straight and the effects of that should be favorable to you and if they're not, just don't do it. So, it's very easy to say that, okay, I'm just going to do this once, this bad thing once and I know it's a bit detrimental but I'll just do it once and then I'll just stop. And while that's okay for the most part, The truth of the matter is, whatever you do gets amplified and you become habitual to doing. I used to tell myself that I'm only having this piece of cake once a day and now it's become a daily habit. I wake up every day and I get my black coffee and my cake and that's a very detrimental habit for my health altogether. It starts out at It always starts out as one thing that you're only doing one time and then eventually it balloons to this habit that can have either seriously detrimental compound effect on your life or seriously positive compounded effect on your life depending upon what it is that you habitualize yourself into doing on a daily basis. So don't think of any action as a one-time, one-off thing. Think of what will happen or what can potentially happen if you undertake that action on a daily basis for a large number of days and you'll know exactly what to do and what not to do.